Uh, today we're going to get to ride our GPX 750R up to Rockwell Ducati. Check out some of the new bikes that might be there. You never know when new bikes are coming in. Try to make some new friends. And actually today we got to see, and it's on this video, the underneath the Ducati uh, showroom is the place where they store some of the used bikes. And one of the fellows that was restoring a bike, and he's doing a pretty nice job. We got some of that on the video. We also had a little chance on the ride back to do a couple extra loops around the park and up around Bear Mountain area, but it, this was a really hot summer day. And looking back over a day like this, I was so glad when I got home and had that giant cup of iced coffee. Oh, we're trying to take advantage of a beautiful, beautiful weather. And it looks like we have a lot of fellow motorcyclists joining us out on the road today. And a ride up to Rockwell, you just couldn't have nicer weather than today. And no matter what the weather, this 750 is always so much fun to ride. Before I head down to Rockwell, I wanted to take the, the loop up around Moodna. And this bike with the Norton muffler is great sounding. Now I always call this, this pit stop on the road the Berlin Wall. It really looks like the Berlin Wall too. My guess is because of the weather there'll be a crowd at Rockwell today. Blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. Wow. And I'll bet it's up over 90 already. And because of the temperature, I'm really glad we got out early. And today it was a lot nicer on the shady part of the ride. It's probably still hot. This like a bead blasted finish. You find a, they do this yeah, with do all kind of too. media. No, they do it with walnut shells. They do it with glass. They do it with other stuff. A guy that does this kind of stuff, that's a nice finish when you can't restore an old part. What do you spray it on? Like, no, oh, you, like you, you blast, it's but it's not sand. Right, it's glass or... And this can be cleaned. This is something you could clean. Yeah. The thing you sandblast it, you can never clean it. So that's an, I'm trying to find a guy locally that does that. I, I got some parts to do. Or something and get these. 
center. But this this is this has got some kind of it's it's like a walnut shell blasted or whatever. It's very fine. That's real nice. Yeah, and on a fork, see on his bike. The forks, you're not going to polish those forks. They're, you got to do something, paint them, or paint them black, like I did. Well, this one I painted gold. you got to have a 7-inch uh, headlight for that. Yeah, oh. What's up, guys? Is this the one you painted? No, it's the one you should have tested right now. Are you going with them? This car insurance. And what happens when you buy a bike that's comfortable, you ride it more. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are buying this. I know. They're selling this sports bike. I know. Good luck with it. What is this, the secret for stolen bike place or? No, it's all our used bikes and customer bike storage. Oh, storage, okay. So, yeah, I never knew what was in here. I never was in here. It's a little dirty, but like the paint job and stuff, I made sure I did a good job on the tank. The fairings, I didn't give a shit about. They cracked their old race fairings. Okay, this is but basically just the track bike. Yeah, That's just all the it track only bike. There's okay. no lights, no nothing. That, that paint doesn't look bad at all. You could be my best student now. Not Holy yours. mackerel. <laughs> think there's anything to apologize well, I mean you can see the imperfections underneath it but like whatever I just scuffed but it see this kind of thing if shot. you have enough here's the thing if you have enough clear on it yeah. if it's a track bike I would just put all the clear on put five but coats either way it looks fucking perfect Be because a lot of times you crash and you can just do this and you don't even have to repaint it yeah if well. there's enough paint on it no that came out great hey yeah. you're good to go baby I did this in my garage with a Harbor Freight tool spray gun that's exactly what I had a little purple twelve dollar one, yeah. Well, they're all good. They're all the same too. Yeah. And when they get crappy, they don't spray. Guess what you do? Throw them away. Buy another one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I always clean my stuff after I'm done with it. So. Yeah. And another student of diversity here. They let you ride with the Ducatis even though you don't have one. Well, I have two. Of them. Oh yeah, I'm just kidding. Got my 848 and I got my Monster. I'm jealous. Your pants are whiter than mine. <laughs> But I got a white jacket and you don't. I know, I have a red jacket. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You must love this. No, the white pants are working out great. Yeah, I, they're I know they're going to be dirty in a couple of weeks. I got to wash them. You wash them, that's all. Ah, yeah, but I'm a, I'm a laundry man anyway. That's Still all. looks good. How old is this one now, Jeff? Uh, this is a 16. Oh. I thought you were one of these guys who buys a new one every two no, weeks. No, 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 no. I ride them. Ride them, don't hide them. Ride them, don't hide them, don't hide them. Hey, are you leaving I already? didn't recognize who you were. Oh, it's because I'm incognito. What'd you say, Jer? I said you're leaving already. Yeah, my, I, my grandson hit his head. Uh, I don't want to leave him there all day. I got to buy gas, too. Get all safe. Be careful out there. Saturday, they're done. Oh, I know. <laughs> hey, that's a bike, man. And the ride back is 65 miles of fun. But no matter what road you take, this bike is just a lot of fun to ride. You have to watch out for those wild turkeys. Oh, and it's so much nicer on shaded roads. This was the kind of day I wish I had a couple extra hours to spend, but I didn't. And 
I do love the sound of that Norton muffler from Dime Cycle. Totally beautiful day, but boy is it getting hot. Wait a minute. It's probably 10 degrees cooler on these shaded back roads. Time for one more pass up over the mountain, back through the park. And of course trying to get as many shaded miles in as I can. And this is a bike I'm so happy I restored. Bikes in my collection, I'm glad I installed, I restored. And it's always nice to have that spare bike sitting in the garage, too. It's time to get back home to the ranch. Get that iced coffee on. I'm cooking. I'm cooking like a lobster in a pot out here. Ice coffee, baby. Extra ice. Well, it'll be just perfect oogling the bike here and having some ice coffee. That just couldn't be any nicer. What a beautiful day this turned out to be. Wow. Boy, this could not have been any nicer of a day. Just not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely beautiful, except it's really, really getting hot. So I hope you enjoyed sharing this day with us and our wonderful GPX 750R. And again, I am so happy I got this restoration done. It has, it has been a great bike for 10 years. I've used it on a track, used it on a road. Just a great bike. And we try to post up something motorcycle related almost every day. Thanks so much for watching.